I'm too excited. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
to Jesus. And I had to say, well, I, we bring our offerings to church. And his mom said, yeah, we bring our offerings. But you know, the greatest gift you can give Jesus is to believe in him. Hallelujah. Just believe with your whole heart. When I thought of that, make his death on the cross worth it. Believe in him. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, uh, when people ask for a sign, this message is about signs. You know, I used to do that a lot I, when I was in trouble. I wanted God to show me that he was, do something. So I can see you. Mm -hmm. Every time I go through something, I used to ask for a sign. I used to ask for a sign. I needed to know that. Now, there's nothing wrong with a sign. That was a sign with the burning bush, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. To let him know that God was there in that bush. Now, it was a sign when God uh, moved the sun and held it still in, in, uh, for a few seconds. And... Uh, in Joshua, you know, there's always something in the Bible where God showed himself. He spoke at one time. He did healings and miracles. Yes. He walked on water. He did all kinds of signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. But I want to give you what you and I ought to have as the greatest sign of all. And I want you to think of that every time you ask God, you just concentrate on that sign. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's one sign that means everything for all signs. Yes. And in, in Isaiah chapter 7, you want to know God is real, I'll tell you to concentrate on this sign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, look. <clears throat> We're going to begin with verse 1 to let you see why they wanted a sign. <clears throat> when Ahaz, son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, was king of Judah. Y'all see what I have? Yes, sir. <laughs> son of Ramalia, king of Israel, marched up to fight against Jerusalem, but they could not overpower it. Now the house of David was told, Aram has allied itself with Ephraim. So the hearts of Ahaz and his people were shaken as the trees of the forest are shaken by the wind. In other words, they're scared, scared, scared. Mm -hmm. You ever been that scared? Mm -hmm. I, I don't get scared too often, so I can't relate to shaking like a leaf. I'm too <laughs> silly to be scared. I have very little fear, so I don't relate. But I, I, I guess what we got to say is think of the worst trouble you ever were in. <laughs> And they were shaking, shaking, shaking. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out, you and your son Shira Sh Jashu, to meet Ahaz at the end of the aqueduct of the upper pool on the road of the washerman's field. Say to him, Be careful, keep away, and don't be afraid. Do not lose heart, because those who are smoldering stubs of firewood, because of the fierce anger, I'm sorry, those two stubs of firewood, smoldering stubs of firewood. Because of the fierce anger of Resin and Aram and the son and the son of Ramalia. Aram, Ephraim, and Ramalia, son, Ramalia's son, have plotted your ruin, say, saying, Let us invade Judah, let us tear it apart and divide it among ourselves, and make the son of Tabil king over it. Yet this is what the sovereign Lord says. It will not take place. Yes. It would not happen. Hallelujah. Isn't that great? Yes. yes. That's what the sovereign Lord says. Mm -hmm. For the head of Aram is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is only rest. Mm -hmm. Within 65 years, Ephraim will be too shattered to be a people. The head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is only Ramalia's son. If you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. Mm -hmm. Wow. And if you notice, the Lord kept saying, only. Mm -hmm. oh, this, this is only a man. This is mm -hmm. God speaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. don't be afraid. Come on, Jesus. Yeah. I'm giving you a word that everything's going to be okay. In fact, in 65 years, there ain't going to be no Ephraim. Mm -hmm. there, won't, there won't be nothing to your enemies. This is him talking to Ahaz. They're talking to Judah. You don't have to worry about nothing. Now, he's already said that, hasn't he? But then he says, again, the Lord spoke to Ahaz. He's speaking to you too sometimes. The Lord your God, uh, ask the Lord your God for a sign, whether in the deepest depths or in the highest heights. But Ahaz says, I will not ask. I will not put the Lord to the test. Yes. Then Isaiah said, hear how you house of Israel. Hear now, you house of Israel. It is not enough to try the patience of men. Will you try the patience of my God also? Mm -hmm. 
Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Hmm. He will eat curds and honey when he knows enough to reject the wrong and, and choose the right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But before the boy knows enough to reject the wrong and choose the right, the land of the two kings you dread will be laid waste. The Lord will bring you and up at bring on you and on your people and on the house of your father a time unlike any since Ephraim broke away from Judah. He will bring the king of Assyria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the prophecy is clear. You don't have to ask for a sign. God wants you to ask for one because he wants to give you the sign. Now, even this is going to be hundreds and hundreds of years later. It's like, but I got this battle right now. And the sign the Lord gave him was a virgin being born. Mm -hmm. A virgin having a child, Emmanuel, yes. Yes. God with us. Yes, sir. That's the sign he gave him. Ask me for one. This is the one that I want you to ask for. This is the sign that I want you to need. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, sir. A virgin will have a child. Yes. He will be God with you. Mm -hmm. God is with you in this battle. Come on, yes. God will fight this battle. Yes. Yes. Don't you worry about man, what mm -hmm. he says. Yeah. After a while, there won't be no Israel, no Ephraim. Mm -hmm. After a while, you don't have to worry about a thing. Come on, Jesus. I take care of this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But the greatest sign that I can give you is there is a child to be born of a virgin. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Ahaz really thought, oh, this sign must be my wife. Well, how can that be? Oh, Ahaz really was thinking maybe it's the prophets. But it was a prophecy hundreds of years left to come. Hmm. One that each one of us can call a sign. I need a sign, Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. i tell you what the sign is. God was made flesh. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. 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 You can't get a greater sign, me and you, than to know that God became flesh just like you. He was tempted and tested on every side. Yes. There is no sin, no temptation that you have dealt with that you can't say he don't understand. Mm. Right. Nothing. But the Bible says it's an adulterous and evil generation that asks for a sign. Come on, sir. Jesus said that over and over again. You don't have to turn there for the sake of time. Matthew 12 and 38 and 16, 1 through 4. Mark 8, 11 through 12. Luke 11, 29. I mean, he constantly said, only an evil and adulterous generation needs a sign. Mm -hmm. my, my, my. But this is the sign he wants to give you. Yes. A child is born. Yes. Of a virgin. Yes, sir. But he's Emmanuel. Yes. God is with you. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Do you need a better sign than to know God is with you? Yes. See, that's what he means by faith. You stand in your faith. You stand in knowing that God is with me. Hallelujah. I don't care what I go through. Yes. If I go through the fire, yes. I shall not be burned. Come on. If the water's over my head, I will not drown. Come on. If I'm so sick to, till I can't think straight, I will not die unless it's my time to go home. Yes. Come on, sir. For yes. God is with me. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That's it. Whatever battle I'm in, all I need to know for a sign. Are you with me, Lord? Yes. That's all I need to know. Emmanuel, are you with yes. us? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, I go through many struggles, just like everybody in this room. Probably more. Mm -hmm. You may not think so, but I think we think so, because I know some of your struggles. But I want to tell you something. If you know that the Lord is with you, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What greater sign do you need? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I want you to think about today. And as you go about your year next year, all I need to know for a sign is Emmanuel. Yes, yes sir. Yes. yes. Emmanuel. Everybody say Emmanuel. Emmanuel. That's all I need. Emmanuel, yes. are you with me, Lord? Yes. Because you didn't just come out of the sky and be a spirit. No, you became just like I was, a child, a baby. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. In the flesh. You were with me. You walk with me. Yes, you sir. talk with me. You're right there all along. You know how I walk. You know how I talk. You know the weaknesses I have. Yes, sir. Because you too were made man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to turn with me to uh, 
Um, Matthew chapter 1. You know, God's done all kinds of signs in the Bible, writing on the walls. All kinds of signs, splitting up rivers and oceans. Mm -hmm. uh, he can do anything, fire on mountains. Mm -hmm. Yep. But he's trying to tell you, if you want to ask for a sign, there's a virgin that's going to be born mm -hmm. and have a child. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Come on, Jesus. God with us. Yes. yes. The best sign you can get is that God is with you. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. If somebody wrote on the wall, it wouldn't make you no difference anyway. You'd say, I don't know where that right came from. I wonder how that got there. Today, we have such unbelief. If we saw a fire in a burning bush, we passed by here in that tree, just kept burning and burning and burning back there, you just look at that and say, man, that tree on fire. Call the fire department. <laughs> fire department can come in, tree still burning. Mm. You wouldn't see it as a sign from God. you think something weird is happening to this tree. But the great sign, that you can be assured of mm -hmm. is that God is with you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care what trouble, how you shake and what you worry about. Mm -hmm. Lord, yes. are you with me? Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. David would always say, yeah, I'm going to go against a great enemy. I mean, this, this was some great enemies here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But all I need is a sign. Yes. Are you with me? Hallelujah. 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 Yes, I'm telling you how to fight your battles. Yep. Yes. You just need to know that the Lord is with you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know you're going to overcome. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Glory. In Matthew chapter 1, he repeats in here this prophecy in Isaiah. <clears throat> For the sake of time, y'all bear with me. I'm going to have to skip around. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I'm going to just read beginning with verse 18. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man, remember that? Mm -hmm. And did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said to Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. Read it with me. Mm -hmm. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. That's not a good sign. Yes. Oh, we talk about the star of Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. We talk about all the things that went on, the singing angels. But the greatest sign was the one laying in that manger. Mm. Come on, sir. Hallelujah. It was God in the flesh. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you ever not believe that God came in the flesh, mm -hmm. you will never make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. It's the one belief you better have. Yes. I'm not judging whether you're going to eventually get there. I don't know. I, I just know you're not going to get there without believing that God became flesh. Yes. Because that is your salvation. Yes. yes. You see, you think his name was called Jesus because it's just a pretty name. But you saw that. It's because he's going to be the Savior yes. of the world. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. His name's Jesus for a reason. You know, we mm -hmm. name people Shekala Bahala, or but for anything. Mm -hmm. Malika Malika. <laughs> and we don't care what it means. Yep. But this is the Savior of the world, and that's why we call him Jesus. Yes. yes. Not because it's a nice name. Right, sir. Hallelujah. Because it means something. Come that's on. Right. Hallelujah. That's yes. Right. yes. And you know that Emmanuel, God is with us. Yes, yes, sir. You need to think about that every time you go through any trouble this year. Yes. I want you to say, you know what? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yes. Hallelujah. You don't need to say it just on Christmas. You need to think it all the time. Yes. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. God. Yes. Y'all, believe it or not, I know what to do when the Holy Spirit says step down. That's it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to think about this as you go about your Christmas time. Yes. What kind of sign do I need that God's with me? A virgin with a son yes. in the flesh. Yes. Call him Emmanuel. Yes. That's what I need. Thank you, Jesus. If I'm sick and in the hospital, mm -hmm. like some of us were last year, yes, Lord. all I need is Emmanuel. Emmanuel. 
Hallelujah. In that room with me, Lord. Yes, sir. You know, on that operating table with me, Lord. God with us. Emmanuel. God Emmanuel. God Emmanuel. Yes, Emmanuel. Yes. Emmanuel. Yes. Emmanuel. Yes. Emmanuel. Yes. That's all I need to know. If I'm broken, I have nothing. I don't know where I'm going to get my next meal from. All I need to know is Emmanuel. Yes. He can take a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil yes. and feed the prophet and you and your family too. Yes. And have enough left over for the next few days. Come on. All I need to know. Say all I need to know. Oh, Are you with me, Lord? Ah, yes. Emmanuel. Yes. Leave Christmas today thinking, Emmanuel. Yes, sir. He's with my daughter wherever she is. Emmanuel. Yes, sir. She's with my yes, children. He's there all the time at school. He's there. Emmanuel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That's all I need to know for sure. That's the only sign that I need. Yes, no handwriting on the wall. My, my. No fire on the mount. That's right. All I need to know. Yeah. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. I don't need to watch the Exodus and watch a great movie on TV. I need to say, Lord, are you with me? Yes. Are you with me through this trial? My, my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if you're with me, I just need faith. Yes, sir. To stand firm. Yes, yes sir. And trust you. Yes, sir. Yes. I shall not be with Because yes. guess who's with me? Amen. 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 Almighty Father, this is your word today. Yes, sir. Yes. I don't know if the choir of y'all would come up and sing that. And I want you to just sing it with some more meaning today, extra meaning. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is your battle song for your life right here. Everybody, this is your battle song. Yes. That's what I want you to sing. I want you to think of that song. Every time you think you got a big problem and you're wondering who understands, who knows, who feels your pain, who can help you, who's rejecting you. So you don't think about all those things, you think about who's with you. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, okay. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. That's all I want you to say. If he's with me, who can be against me? Yes, the battle is not mine. Yes, it is the Lord. Yes, the only sign I need.
God is with them. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they get drunk, they start arguing around. You say, God with me. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. I don't tell people not to be around sinners. That's ridiculous. I tell you, just make sure God's with you. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. If you like my family, you, you as well in mine. Yes. Anyway, God is with you. Yes, sir. Just say God's with me. God is with you. And Emmanuel, when you leave today, say that's all I need to know about Christmas. Yep. He's with me. Yes, sir. Almighty Father, bless your people. Thank you, Jesus. Keep them safe this Christmas and bless them and throughout the year to come. Let your presence be in their home, yes, on their jobs. Yes. Let it be in their children. Yes, so Let it be in their grandchildren. Yes, so Let your presence, Lord God, be with their greater family, yes, their parents and uncles and nieces and nephews. Let the presence of God be there. Yes, so Let Emmanuel Amen. escort us throughout the year to yes, come. Yes. Let Emmanuel be in all our trials. Yes, so 